When the trumpet is blown, will only be disbelievers. There will be no Muslims left on the earth at that time. And this is a rahmah, this is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that day itself, the blowing of the trumpet is a, such a terrifying moment that Allah in His mercy and His wisdom will not allow the Muslims to suffer, uh, uh, to be alive on, on that terrifying day. So it will only be the, the disbelievers. There is a hadith in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informs us that towards the end of time, just before the trumpet is blown, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send a wind which will take the lives and the souls of the believers. No matter where, even if they were hiding in mountains, in caves and mountains, this wind will find them and it will cause them to pass away from this life into the next world. And the only people remaining on the face of this earth when the trumpet is blown will be the disbelievers. The reality is, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, there is nothing that can prepare you for that blowing of that trumpet. There is nothing which can make you understand what the state of mankind will be like on blowing of that trumpet. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself said, How can I smile? How can I be happy? How can I be joyful? When the angel of the trumpet has already raised the trumpet to his lips, his gaze has fallen on the throne of Allah and he is simply waiting for the command. He is simply waiting for the command. So the trumpet is not by his side. The trumpet has already been raised to his lips. His gaze has fallen onto the throne of Allah and he is simply awaiting for the command for the trumpet to be blown. So this is how close we are to that final moment, to that final day. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like, his, like I said, He gives us an insight of what the state of mankind will be on that day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, It is a day whereon mankind will be like moths scattered about. Mankind, seven billion people on the face of this earth, that's a huge number of people. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they will be like scattered moths, completely walking around in a drunken state, feeble, weak, scattered across this earth in which the mountains, Allah then subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and the mountains will be on that day like carded wool. These huge pegs which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made firm the land upon which we work, walk. These huge uh, monstrous creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that day will be like carded wool, will be like cotton wool, will literally disintegrate in front of our eyes. There will be nothing, they will be moving, they will be like uh, themselves, they will be floating. As the Mufassirun have explained, these things that we think are immovable, we see to be uh, indestructible. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the imagery of these very mountains just disappearing, just themselves collapsing, themselves turning into carded wool. And mankind will be in a state of drunken stupor. They will be completely oblivious, completely uh, uh, lost as to what's happening. The Prophet ﷺ explained that on that day, the woman who is pregnant, when the blowing of the trumpet occurs, she will literally just give birth there and then. She will be so fearful that she will literally give birth. The child, the baby child, who has committed no sin, will be so fearful that day that its hair will turn grey immediately, out of fear. So these are terrifying moments which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a glimpse about. And it is this day that we Muslims, all of mankind needs to prepare for. This one moment. This one moment. And we have a lifetime to prepare. And as I've explained before, 
it's not a hidden exam, it's not a hidden, the questions are not hidden, the solution is not hidden. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's infinite mercy has sent prophet after prophet, messenger after messenger, reminding mankind, reminding mankind of this day, of this inevitable day, that it is coming and it is more true than anything else that you can think to be true. It is the only true reality. It is the day of Haqq. It is the day of truth. Another definition, another explanation of the day of judgment. The day of truth.